All right, folks. So I think many of you know what this is. It's an RTL SDR dongle. They call it a dongle because it plugs into your computer via this USB port. This is a version three. Um, it allows you to listen to UHF, VHF, and under certain configurations, HF uh, frequencies. You connect your antenna to this SMA port. I'm not going to go into too much details to what these are because a lot of people have them. A lot of people know about them. And they know what they do. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about how you can use this to receive HF or high frequency signals. Uh, in particular, for me, I'm interested in listening to ham radio activity. I'm going to hook this up to an antenna that I have out in my backyard. It's a 49 to 1 NFED half wave antenna. If you check out my antenna playlist, there's tons of videos on that particular antenna and you can learn all about it. And so I'm just going to take a brief moment to show where you can pick these up in the event that you don't have one and you don't know. I'm also going to have a link below how you can install this to run on your Windows machine. Uh, I have a video for that that you can check out. Other than that, let's go ahead and get this video started. For your next project needs, make sure to go to PCBWay.com and see what they can do for you. PCBWay.com can help with prototyping, assembly, flex rigid PCB, HDI PCB, CNC machining, and even 3D printing. Don't worry if you've got questions, because PCBWay.com has answers. They have a robust technical support function that you can take advantage of. Try PCBWay now. So here's a website that you're going to want to familiarize yourself with. It is RTL-SDR.com. Uh, here in the toolbar, you have a couple of different options. We're going to click on RTL-SDR Store. Once that happens, you can come down here and you can read a little bit about these. Uh, they can tell you a little bit about a genuine RTL SDR V3. Um, I would make sure that you get a genuine one. You might be able to save a little bit of money buying a fake one from China or even a fake one mistakenly from sources like eBay or Amazon. I would just go ahead and make sure that you're careful in this. Um, it is important to get a real one. You can see here some of the clones and they look pretty dang close. Uh, if you scroll down here, you'll see different things that you can purchase. Here's a kit uh, you can get to have some antennas and things. That's actually what I bought uh, a few years back. We've got a couple of uh, SDRs here at the uh, Ham Shack, so uh, that's the one I would recommend if you if you didn't uh, if you didn't have one already. If you've got antennas and things like that, and you don't need the extra parts, then you would just want to buy this V3 R820T2 for twenty nine ninety five US. Um, you can buy it on Amazon if you're in the United States or worldwide. You can buy off of AliExpress or eBay. Again, make sure you're buying it from an approved or authorized reseller. So let's go ahead and click the buy at Amazon and see what comes up. Here you go. I can get it for $29.95 and have it delivered on Monday. Um, not a bad deal. Uh, this is what I would do if I was you. It says it runs on uh, Windows, uh, Linux, and Android. And um, we do have videos of us installing this on Windows as well as on Raspberry Pi or Linux. All right. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the software SDR Sharp. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to set this up and use it on HF frequencies. Okay, so here we are in SDR Sharp. We have it running, we have it installed correctly. Uh, and typically what I would encourage folks is to use this on UHF, VHF before getting into HF so you can learn how to use the software, learn how to use the controls and so forth. So what we wanna do before we start this up or hit the play button is I wanna come over here and I wanna make sure I have my source correct. Here I have RTL-SDR USB because I'm using my USB dongle. I connect my USB dongle before I open the software and certainly before I start the software. So what I want to do now is I want to go over here and I want to click on this configure service. It's a cog or a gear. Um, once I click on that, I get this RTL SDR controller window. And the first thing in here is <laughs> that it says generic RTL um, 28. And this is the driver that I'm using. And I want to make sure that that is the one that's selected. Uh, sample rate, you can set this to whatever works well for you. I find 2.8 works fine for me. And then we have sampling mode. And when I use the uh, HF antenna and I want to listen to HF, what I do is I come down here and I pick Q branch. And I want to make sure the Q branching is, uh, is selected, direct sampling Q branch. That is the setting that you need. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click close because my settings are correct. And then when I click this start button, that's going to start my dongle up. That's going to start my software, and now I'll be able to listen to the signals that I want to listen to. So here we are on uh, the 20 meter band. We're tuned to a frequency called 14.235. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to remember, maybe back when I was a kid, I, um, 
And so there you can hear uh, one end of a, uh, of a friendly rag chew where folks are just talking to each other and, uh, and making some contact. Let's poke around a little bit more and uh, see what we can find. This is going to be um, our digital modes, FT8. And you can hear that. Um, what you could do is you could actually pipe that into um, WSJTX or any other decoder, and you would be able to uh, to decode your uh, your digital modes. Let's see what else we have. Looks like we have a signal here. Let me go up here and unmute. Let's go ahead and check some other frequencies. Let's go down to uh, 40 meters. Actually, I see what we get right here. So here's some uh, short wave listening, and I'm going to get off of that before I before I get in any trouble. I don't know if that's copyright or not, but uh, you can pick up short wave frequencies as well as well, which is pretty cool. And then. Uh, just a little bit. Well, we should be down into um, a ham activity here. It looks like we're picking up some short wave. Here we go, 40 meter ham band. Let's switch this over to lower side band. And there we seem to have some sort of digital. So you can see that it is uh it's pretty cool my antenna does not go down much lower than uh it's a 40 meter antenna but we can go ahead and uh we can try some of the other bands here's some uh medium wave i meant to stop at 80 meters let me just check my zoom real quick there we go. And we're not getting anything. My antenna's not going to pick that up. So, folks, that's how you do it. Uh, hopefully you learned something here. Hopefully it's exciting. Uh, go ahead and give it a try and uh, let us know how it works for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond.